Fresh, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Okay, this is a first for Boo. This is the first time I've seen Boo jump on top of the chair, almost on the cat tower to look outside the window. The reason why he's doing this is because I'm editing a video, and in the video, Hydrox is meowing. So Boo is trying to look outside and see where the meowing is coming from. See, there's Hydrox. Here, let's see. Let's see if I could get any of this on film. Watch. Would you like some food? Would you like some food? Hydrox, want to eat some food? Yeah, you're hungry? Okay, right now this is big. I'm walking slow. Hello, Hydrox. How are you? Walking very slow. Are you having a nice day, Hydrox? Would you like some food? Hydrox, want to eat some food? Yeah, you're hungry? 11.50 p.m. I came downstairs to say goodnight to the cats and to shut the light off. Here's Splash. He's hanging out on the rug. He's near the play mat. There is Stella. She's sleeping in her basket under the cat tree. There's the cat tree. There's Stella in her basket. Stella's so cute. And there's Simba. Today Simba's on the ottoman. Usually Splash likes to sleep there, but I guess Simba's hanging out there today. It is 1.32 a.m. right now. It's booze night to free roam the house. And he'd rather just lay on the bed. My boop! Nine AM. Good morning, Boo. This is Boo's breakfast. He's getting his instinct raw bites. He's getting his herbs. He's getting some green grass powder because I'm all out of fresh cat grass. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat, Boo? Would you like some breakfast? Breakfast? Boo. Hey, Boo. Boo. You want breakfast? There you go, Boo. You have your breakfast and you have fresh water. I'm going to shut his door so he can stay in his room for a little while and I can bring the other cats upstairs. Good morning. Good morning, Splash. How come you didn't come upstairs? Good morning, Stella. Oh, you a good girl. Good girl. Okay, we're going to eat. Good morning, Simba.
The cats are getting the same exact thing that Boo's getting. They're just getting a little different dosage of the herbs. There's your food. There you go, Splash. Eat your food, Splashy. You could eat your food. Right now it is about 28 degrees out. It's below freezing. So I'm taking uh, some food out for Hydrox and I'm taking this pitcher of warm water out to Hydrox and I'm gonna put these in the kitty cafe. I just came outside and there's Hydrox. He's laying in the sun by the house and um, it's actually not too bad here in the sun by the house. I'm standing outside here without a jacket. I just have like a hoodie on. So considering the fact that Hydrox is wearing a fur coat, uh, he should be okay. Plus it's nice for him to get some sun and some air. And there's Boo, he's doing the same thing near the window. Maybe I'll go inside and uh, open his window a little bit so he gets some fresh air also. Hydrox, would you like to eat some food? Would you like some breakfast? Hydrox. Hydrox. You wanna eat some food? Hydrox, do you want some food? So here's what's going on with uh, this kitty cafe. Uh, there are leaves in the water again, and um, the food side is just a mess. So I'm actually gonna try to move this so it's under one of the feeding tables. Okay, Okay. so I just put the kitty cafe under the tables, and I turned it so Hydrox could stand under the tables and eat at uh, the bowls. Now there's all kinds of wires and extension cords out here, so I just tucked a bunch of them under this rug. Uh, normally by now this rug would have been rolled up and uh, or put in the garage, um, but I didn't have a chance to do that yet. And hopefully the weather will warm up again. We'll have another few days of warm weather um, where I will have the option. Also, it was really wet for a while, um, and I can't roll it up while it's wet. So it looks like my begonias got hit. I mean, it was super cold yesterday. I'm shocked that um, it still has leaves and flowers on it because in the past um, we'd get like a really bad frost and um, or a cold snap. Even like last year I put it in my garage and I wanted to see what would happen in the garage because it's a little bit warmer in the garage than outside. And one day I went in and everything was just like deflated, like a deflated balloon. So that's why I'm a little shocked to still see uh, leaves and flowers on this. I half expected this to be just totally deflated. So Hydrax walked over to the food and he was eating it while I was showing you the greenhouse. Okay, Hydrax, you could eat. There's Hydrax eating his food. Now there was uh, zero dry food in the feeder when I went out there, like none. So, now I'm wondering if I should increase the amount that is dispensed every morning. Because now as the weather is colder, Hydrox um, might want to eat more food to deal with the colder weather. It is 1 p.m. And here are two very happy cats to be laying in the sunshine near the back door. Hello, Simba. Hello, Stella. I don't know where Splash is. I just got back. It is 4.55 p.m. 
This is what the Kitty Cafe looks like right now. Um, the food bowl uh, has been emptied and it's all dried out and the water bowl is still here. It has not frozen. I am going to rinse both of the bowls out uh, with this hot water. I'll refill the water and uh, put some food in here. He's getting half of this Trader Joe's can of uh, ocean fish, salmon, and rice and um, a little bit of water in there also. And there's Hydrox. It looks like he just came out of the cat house. I hope so because the electric heating pad is in there. And that would be good because that means it's nice and warm for him. It is really quiet outside right now. It's like this weird quiet. Okay, I don't know if you guys could see it because I'm filming through this door. But Hydrox is sitting under their table. He's eating his food. So that's good. And then hopefully he'll go back in the warm cat house. Okay, Simba. Gotta be careful so I don't step on you again. Hello, Stella. It is 5.16 p.m. Boo is sitting here watching me wrap Christmas presents. Yep. He likes the sound of cutting paper and um, you know the scissors on the paper and uh, when he hears that he gets like all excited it is 2 9 a.m. going to bed and here's Boo laying on the bed today is supposed to be Stella's night on the bed and Stella, Splash, and Simba are supposed to be on free roam. But they're all hanging out downstairs. When I went downstairs to see what they were up to, they were hunting a bug. And um, Boo was upstairs. He was in his room at the time, but he was kind of like banging on the door. So I decided they seem happy downstairs. I'm just going to let them stay downstairs. And uh, Boo really wanted to come out of his room so I let him out of his room and I figure uh, the three of them are hanging out with each other and Pooh's just by himself so uh, Pooh's been hanging out with me since I let him out of his room and uh, he's gonna sleep in the bed tonight and I just my concern is that he's going to start becoming like super possessive of the bed and me and uh, other things in the house so I definitely want to try to keep a balance between him and the other cats right boo you okay boo you tired are you tired boo you're a good boy boo you're a good boy boo Bruce Perry.